Hey guys, I'm back with another PvP tips video, and today we're going to be talking about ethics and unwritten rules in PvP. In Sea of Thieves, there are certain conventions the community tends to follow, so if you're new, you might not be aware. So I'm just going to list some out here that'll hopefully get you caught up to speed. So first, I just want to start with a quick disclaimer. Sea of Thieves is an open PvP sandbox, meaning anyone can attack you for any reason at all at any time. And that's how the game is supposed to work. So while I am going to list out some unwritten rules here, don't be surprised if people don't follow these because it is all about total player freedom. One other thing I would like to mention, and it's not necessarily a rule that's unwritten, it more just goes unnoticed. If you raise an emissary flag for one of the factions, you are a target for PvP, no matter what rank you're at, no matter how much loot you have, because the Reaper's Bones faction uses emissary flags to progress. So if you put one of these up, just know you are taking a risk. So let's get to the actual first unwritten rule. And that is if you come across someone doing a tall tale, just leave them be. There's literally nothing for you to gain from sinking someone who's on a tall tale. Not to mention, tall tales can be a pain to get through, even with checkpoints. So if you find someone who's doing one, just let them enjoy themselves. Unless they have a ton of treasure or they're super toxic, in which case I'll give you a pass. Speaking of leaving people alone, if you find a crew that you think might be new, an easy way to tell is if they have nothing but bananas in their fruit crates, specifically eight or less because that's what you start with, maybe don't attack them. The last thing you want to do as an experienced player is scare newer people away from the game when they have absolutely nothing to steal. Again, that being said, if somehow they acquired a ton of loot or are being super toxic, feel free. A super common mistake by newer players is that they accidentally raise the Reaper's Mark flag because they think it looks cool without actually realizing that they're marking themselves on the map for PvP. So if you come across a crew that has done this and they seem new, maybe let them know that it's probably in their best interest to take it down. Yeah, so that flag up there means that you are looking for PvP and it marks you on the map. So basically, people will come and, ta and attack you. Oh, okay, let's, well, let's switch that. However, if you see a crew flying the Reaper's Bones Emissary flag, another rule is that you are totally within your rights to go attack them for any reason at all. The Reaper's Bones faction is all about PvP, and the game even marks them on the map. The game is encouraging you to go track them down. So you shouldn't feel bad about attacking Reaper Emissaries, especially if they're trying to avoid PvP, because while it is the most efficient way to get gold and rep, they need to learn that being marked on the map is the risk they take. Another rule, or etiquette even, in Sea of Thieves is know when to give up. If a crew has sunk you two to three times max, instead of coming back again and again and again, just throw in the towel, tell them good game, and move on. And lastly, I would say, as a final rule, if you are unlucky enough to come across players who are insanely toxic, and I'm talking using slurs and all of the bad language that has no place in the gaming community, Besides maybe reporting them, you should take it upon yourself if you are confident enough in your skills to try and sink them. We do not want them playing this game, and so you need to do your best to get them off the seas. Before you go, if you guys didn't see my post from before, I just want to let you know that I am finally able to monetize this YouTube channel, which means I'm going to be putting ads on most of my videos. Don't worry, though, the ads will be as non-invasive as possible, and the content will remain the same. I am now lucky enough to be able to do this as a full-time job thanks to all of you wonderful people and I'd like to be able to keep doing it, but that also means I have to pay the bills, so I hope you guys understand. As always, I give away exclusive in-game items on my stream and occasionally have Twitch drops at twitch.tv slash blurbs. If you want to just come say hey or ask any questions, please feel free to stop by. We also have an amazing Discord community if you need people to play Sea of Thieves with, so please check that out. I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you for watching.